in this tutorial we will learn the concepts of parenting different layers and we will learn what is anchor point and what it is used for so let's start right away let's create a new composition tutorial 11 and hit ok let's set this to fit up to 100 percent so in order to demonstrate the anchor point and parenting let's create a few objects over here let's create the solids Purple. let's create another one blue one more that is orange Hit OK and then one last that will be red. Hit OK. So now we have many solids over here. Now, first let's learn about the anchor point. Now, the anchor point is basically the point from where the rotation and all the other effects will take place for example over here what we see is the anchor point now if we select our rotation tool and then rotate this solid it will rotate while keeping the anchor point as the center Now, if you want to change the anchor point, we will select the pan behind tool from over here, left click the anchor point and then move it anywhere we want. Now let's select the rotation tool and now when we rotate, it does not rotate from the center but from the anchor point. As you can see, it rotates in this way. and that's what the anchor point is let's set the anchor point back to the center all right like so now let's see what is parenting layers first let's select these layers hit s bring down their scale Let's move this up here, move the orange up here. Let's animate the green solid. Hit a keyframe here. Move to 2 seconds. Move it here. And now when we play the animation, as you can see, the green solid moves from left to right. Now, if I select the orange layer and from the parent return over here, I select the green layer from here now if I play the animation the orange solid will move along with the green solid the green solid has become apparent for the orange solid and hence now the orange solid is moving accordance to the green solid for that let us first arrange these solids that we created in the last tutorial let's select the solid let's move them like so let's select them again decrease their scale even more 
all right this is perfect let's move them like this all right now we have positioned all the solids over here now what we are going to do is we will parent all of the solids to the red solid so let's rename this red solid to parent and then we will parent all these solids to the red solid and then we will see how it works out so we have positioned all of them right here now in order to parent select a layer go down to the parent tab and select from the drop down parent or the second way is to select the layer click on the pick whip over here left click and drag it to the parent layer its name and then drop it and then the parent will get selected to that layer let's do that all right so now we don't want to see all these layers over here what we will do is we we'll click on the toggle switches slash modes over here we will click on hide all layers for which the shy switch is set left click on it select all these layers and then select the shy switch for them now this over here is the shy switch the layers do not disappear from our composition panel but they do disappear from over here if there are too many layers and the work is becoming confusing to us we can hide the layers they will animate and perform as needed but they will just not be visible over here if you want to see them again we can just click on the shy switch and then they will all be back here for now let's just hide them because we no longer need them and let's see how the parenting works now select the parent and we will select the position by pressing the P key over here and as soon as we move the parent as you can see all of the objects are moving together with the parent how convenient is that so be sure that to animate now we animate the parent and all the other layers will get animated along with the parent so let's select a keyframe for its position go to three seconds and let's move its position to the right side we must go back to the start select the parent hit R for rotation get a keyframe over here go to 3 seconds and let's do this 2 revolutions now let us see and play the animation how it worked out <laughs> 